Hello fellow 3D enthusiast. In this episode, I'd like to show you a really cool way of transferring Genesis 3 clothing onto Genesis 8 without triggering auto fit. This is a very nice tip that I got from one of my supporters, Hectix. Thank you so much for bringing that to my attention, Hectix. This works both ways, so from Genesis 3 clothing to the Genesis 8 figure, also the other way around, Genesis 8 clothing to the 3 figure, male to female, works for shoes, works for tops, works for pants, works for pretty much everything. Let me show you how it works. I have my Genesis 8 point zero def load loaded into the scene and I'd like to use an item that's made for Genesis 3 mail which is this one here the business suit for Genesis 3 the tune business suit for Genesis 3 I'm not going to use the whole outfit it'll have to be done item by item so I'm going to show you this with both the shirt and the pants perhaps let's use the shirt first now, when you load the clothing into the scene, make sure the figure isn't selected. If I were to select my guy and then load the clothing, the auto fit is going to be triggered. So we want to avoid that. We don't want to fit the clothing. We just want to load it into the scene. And the easiest way to do that is by not selecting anything in the scene tab. So just click on the gray part on the bottom here and then nothing is selected. Now double click the item of clothing you'd like to load and that'll look like this. So we can see that there's a bit of a discrepancy in regards to the poles and that's okay we're going to change that so for shirts or for tops we need to adjust the left and right shoulder bends by 45 degrees for the trousers it's the thigh bend left and right that needs to be adjusted by six degrees you can do that in multiple ways. You could use power poles to select the joint. You could use the scene hierarchy to drop down into the bone hierarchy. But the easiest way I find to do that is by just using the joint editor tool. That's this one here. You can also grab it from the tools menu, tools joint editor. And what that'll do is it'll show you all the bones in the item of clothing. So with the clothing item selected, the ones we need to adjust are these ones here. This is then going to open that up. So left shoulder bend on the parameters tab under rotation. It's the bend option that needs to be adjusted by, I always forget which direction. So in this case, it's minus 45. And we need to do the same thing on the other bone as well. That needs to be adjusted by 45. I do have an article with these exact values. I'll link to that in the description of this video. And that's pretty much all we need to do. So legs are not important i don't need to really change the legs because uh, we don't really have them in this clothing item if i were to do that i could go and click this that's the left thigh bend that needs to be adjusted by six i mean i'll just do it for completion here six there we go and then the same thing with the right one that also is six and whoops sorry that is then minus six there pose is adjusted part one of the puzzle done now we need to go and bake those joint rotations and that is also done with my joint editor here uh, this is literally just a right click inside anywhere of your viewport right click and say edit bake joint rotations and what that'll do as soon as we do that is it'll set that value here that we've now set to something other than zero it'll set that to zero so it's a bit like in blender if you're familiar with this concept of applying the rotation and scale that is basically what that do what that does it'll just lock these values in and make sure that studio sees this as this is now zero so once again right click edit Big joint rotations and now that is set to zero on all the adjustments that I've made. Next thing that we need to do is change the scene identification. So Dash Studio keeps track on what item belongs to what other items by this thing called the scene identification. And that is basically the thing that would eventually trigger auto fit. So anything that belongs to something else, Dash Studio keeps track of with a giant database of things. So in this case, it'll be on the shirt and Dash Studio will think of this as a Genesis 3 item. To change that, use the context menu in the scene tab. That's this little hamburger icon at the top here. So with the shirt selected, click that, then head over to edit and then head over to scene identification. And that will pop up this relatively medium scary window here in which you can see at the very bottom here, the preferred base. It's currently set to Genesis 3 male. We need for that to be Genesis 8 male. So to change that, use these little three dots next to the drop down menu. And then this medium scary window comes up in which you can now select the new compatibility base as such. So we need to drill down to Genesis 8, open that up and then tell it it's Genesis 8 male. 
hit accept, then hit accept again, and that will have set the new preferred base for this item. So auto fit isn't going to be triggered if we were to fit this clothing item now. However, if we were to try that, you will see that, maybe I'll just quickly show you this. If you were to try to fit the shirt now, fit business shirt to Genesis 8, hit accept, then you'll see that the shirt is kind of changing its position. Well, usually it does, not, not today, excellent, but usually it does. And that is because the two skeletons aren't exactly aligned just yet. Uh, let's make that happen. To do that, we need to select both the figure and the clothing item in a particular order in our scene tab for this to work. So what I'll do is I'll go and select my Genesis figure first, then I'll hold down control and then I'll select the clothing item. Make sure you do it in this order. Don't select the clothing item first and then the Genesis figure. Make sure you do it figure first, control or command on the Mac, then select your clothing item and then head over to this little hamburger icon again in the scene tab and then select edit rigging transfer rigging figure space. Now the rigging is exactly aligned and you can fit your clothing item and there's not going to be any issues. Now let's try, let's test it out. Uh, right click here, fit to business suit to Genesis mail and boom. Let's do it again just so that we get a little bit of practice here. So I'm going to go and uh, not select anything. Go and bring in my business suit pants here. Change over to my joint editor. And then I'll go and change the rigging of these two bones here. Left thigh bend parameters. This is now going to be uh, that way. So six. You can also mirror that with the built-in mirroring tools if you want. But it's just really easy to just type it in. That's the pose sorted. Now I need to bake the joint rotation. So that's right clicking anywhere in the viewport with your joint editor tool selected. And that is under edit bake joint rotations. That'll set those sliders to zero. Now we need to go and change the scene identification. That's in the scene tab. Right click at the top here. Edit scene identification. Let's change that to our target figure, which in my case is not Genesis 3. It's Genesis 8 and male. You can also see how you could potentially change a female item to a male figure if that fits. Hit accept. And now, once again, we need to go and select the figure here in the scene tab. Control select the business suit pants. Go back to that hamburger icon. Head over to edit rigging transfer rigging figure space and that's that. All that remains to be done is now to fit the item of clothing to your figure and then it'll move just as you'd expect it. Once again thank you so much to Hectix for this wonderful tip. He's actually made a German video about the process and said hey Jay could you make an English version and this is it so thank you so much. If you found this video helpful then please share it with friends, family and total strangers. Also fellow 3D enthusiasts and I hope I will see you later. Take care. Bye bye.